And then you take a you take a shot of whiskey. You put a shot in the sauce. That fire's getting right. It's almost ready to put the ribs on. Man, it's <laughs> In our family, through the years, stories have all been told. They were started being told by my grandmother, my Granny Brown. She was born in 1903. She said just where they lived out in the country, really nobody ever, ever came by. So we got really big shrimp this time. Okay. Maybe those look pretty shrimp. Thank you. You did good. They're all done and we're going to um, Ice them down now so that they will hold the flavor. It's okay. It's that's okay. That's all right. I'm like Granny. If I say that, I milk my. That means I don't think it's all right. It, it was always late in the afternoon, right before the sun would go down. They would hear uh, an, a horse and wagon. She said she could vividly remember the sound of the hoofs of the horse. She said it'd go clunk. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Very, very slow, and she said, very, very, an e just an eerie sound. They had a stone wall, she said, that was around their place, and they would they would look kind of between some cracks in the wall, and she said there would be a man that was uh, driving the wagon. He always had on a real dark overcoat and had his old hat pulled way down uh, over his over his ears, over his head. He said all she could make out were his, were his eyes and his nose, and he on his overcoat he would turn the turn the collar up, and he'd be crouched down real low. And here he'd come, clomp, clomp, clomp. It was clomp, after high school, clomp, between high school and college, and uh, somebody would just call and say, "Y'all want to go ghost hunting? Go riding around and go ghost hunting." Well, my mother told me she didn't want me ghost hunting at all. Don't go to those cemeteries. Don't do that. It's dangerous. And so, of course, I did it anyway. This is also where Robin got really scared. And we, we've been here a long time. And, yeah. and, it, and it is spooky, you know, and you start hearing, you start hearing those owls scream. And, um, and she just kind of just freaked out. And she said, she said, I just really want to go, I want to go. And so we were getting in the car and she was in the back seat and she closed her door and nobody else would shut their door and they were just talking. And she went, go, go, there's a man coming. I see his face, he's scary, get away. Get him. Get him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then she literally started crying. Yeah. And so we thought she really saw something. And years later, she told me, I just wanted to go home. I didn't want to be there anymore, so I lied. Something in the back of the wagon covered up. She said they couldn't make out what it what it was. She said it went on in her mind for for a couple of years. What finally occurred, they they figured it out that that this guy was robbing graves. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, mommy Ann. She's probably turning over in her grave anyway. Mommy, like, Get off of me! Get me! I'm mad! You're not respecting me! <laughs> Were you the one who put flowers on their yes. grave? Yes. Yeah. But do you like, do you dislike them? Or? I just, well, I just, out of respect, I don't want a empty base sitting there and uh, even though she drove me crazy, she was my mom. Yeah, this is baby's so, mom. Yeah. This was yeah. the husband that she, she remarried. This is not actually. So yeah. The first part, we saw Didi's dad over mm -hmm. there. He remarried to Faye. Mm -hmm. This is Phoebe's mom. Yeah. She remarried to Sunny. Sunny died. She actually got a boyfriend after. Mm -hmm. She was happier than she'd ever she been. She was very happy with mm -hmm. him, and then she died. Her boyfriend is still alive. Mm -hmm. He didn't put up with her crap. And, no, and, he did and, not. Yeah, it was really perfect. It really was. What he was doing was he, he would know when someone recently had been buried, so before the grass came up and grew Thank over you. the grew over the gra grave site, he would go out there at night and dig up the body. And he was taking the, taking the bodies then and selling them uh, to be used for research in, in one of the medical schools in, in Tennessee. He was doing this not only in their county, but numerous counties uh, in, in the area. 
but uh, she said this it just it just scared her to death uh, as as a kid when this wagon would come by